There are loads of interesting events happening in the art scene, and you can count on Art House to bring all of that to your doorsteps. I'm Melinda Akinlami, a warm welcome. Together, we'll be cruising through the wonderful world of the arts. Let's check out what we have for you on today's episode. <music> This artist is no stranger to the show. He will be taking us to the roots through his amazing works of art. We see the mind of the creative in this solo exhibition. Then the beauty of design comes to the fore at the Design Week in Lagos. and more after we hear from our wordsmith for this week. Our wordsmith for this week is The Pride of Africa by Bilu Tobi. Most people write me off when they see me they do not know my story. They say I'm just an African. They judge me before they get to know me. What they do not know is the pride I have in the blood that runs through my veins, the pride I have in my rich culture and the history of my people, the pride I have in my strong family ties and the deep connection to my community, the pride I have in the African music, art and dance, the pride I have in my name and the meaning behind it. Just as my name has meaning, I too will live a life with meaning. So you think I am nothing? Don't worry about what I am now. For what I will be, I'm gradually becoming. I will raise my head high wherever I go because of my African pride. And nobody will take that away from me. Well done, Belo Toby, for those words and creating the work of art to well, go with it. We appreciate you for that. Now to our first feature. The Roots is a solo exhibition by multi-talented artist Sylvester Aguda in Lagos. These are the recent body of works as presented by multi-talented artist Sylvester Aguda in a solo exhibition where he takes the Lagos audience on a journey to enjoy the beauty of culture and tradition and the roots. It's just reflecting heritage, a rich African cultural heritage. And most of the works you see in this exhibition are actually my recent works, my 2022 collection. And I just want to try and give people that feel. Uh, it's actually inspired by most of the stories, tales, that um, our grandparents and uncles and aunties have told us over time. So this is what you see today in form of different mediums of art. This has been basically exploring the beauty of the African people, exploring her cultures, her tradition, her food, you know, also celebrating God as the Supreme One. And of course, we are we're having this exhibition when we are celebrating for elaboration, which um, we used to pay homage to the works and the, the legend that Baba Felad Adikula Kuti was. There's an array of images on display that emphasizes this heritage interpretation and this artist takes time to run us through some of them. There's no way you come into my space and you're not ginger, let me use that word. Um, colors, I believe, give life and art on its own is life. So most of the works you see in this exhibition um, today is rich in colors. And I feel as an African or Africans, we use colors and colors are very vibrant in our culture. Um, they relate to so many of our things, our food, colorful, our attires are colorful and rich. You know, when you see them, you, they, you cannot help but just love them. Every inch of the gallery is filled with colorful works of art, regardless of the media, and this strikes a chord with the visitors, especially those who are all too familiar with Sylvester's strokes. I've known Sylvester for quite many years. This is the fourth appearance during the celebration 
and of course, this is my own also fourth appearance in this artwork. Um, Sivela has been able to give depth and concept to challenges uh, of humanity, especially as we see it in Nigeria. And we see this art exhibition as also trying to connect to us, connect to our roots. Sylvester came from a wonderful background of corporate world, businesses. He's run all sorts of businesses before coming to say that, listen, I've set on an art as a motive to explain, to talk to people, um, to be able to bring out the inner part of them. And of course, whenever I'm here, I feel elevated, I feel relieved, I feel connected. And of course, um, there's a lot we need to do about art because art is us and we are art. And we must be able to connect, seek help, support all the artwork um, that's been displayed here. Very, very unique and very sublime. You need to sit, step, step back, put some light, and see what is the, uh, is the, the message is trying to send out. And more, more importantly, his works are very, very, very modern. I've done gone to a couple of exhibitions, and there's a unique aspect of it. The colors are, are very, very colorful. It's African. There's a lot of Africanness in his work. And the, there's a lot of originality. And like I said, spoke to him, artists need to also look at the issue of the copyrights they have in their works. They must start discussing it. They must start understanding it to be able to get the best out of their work. Because there are so, much, so many works of Nigerians that have, that have come lost. as a collage artist, a collage and a mixed media artist. So the whole journey started with paper collage. I advanced from paper collage to um, fabric. I started using fabric. And then from fabric, I moved to offcuts of frames. Then from offcuts of frames to metal strings. Then from metal strings, now I'm using wood, you know, and it's interesting, sculpting, you know, making different woods works and the impression and the reactions have been incredible. Love, relationships, history, tribe, and unity are some of the values the artist expresses in rich hues and colorful techniques. So some of the works here, especially the new pieces that Sebastian just created, is he's using those pieces to you know, address um, Africa, what we are, like a message to us that we are a unique people, that we are a, you know, we are a race that is endowed with so many goodness, so many, so much resources. And this is, these are things that we should celebrate as African people. We should blow our trumpets on the goodness, that, on the greatness that we are, because you know, it has been given to us and there's so much more that we can put out there and not just the negatives. For Sylvester, the essence of organizing this solo exhibition is to remind Nigerians and indeed Africans about our customs and values, which must be a watchword and guide at all times. Then another part of the commercial city, we enjoy Another solo show by Esho Ayodele. The exhibition, The Mind of a Creative, is what Esho Ayodele, a versatile creative artist, ex-professional footballer and photographer, is showing at his solo show in Lagos.
derived that title being um, I'm vastly creative and multi-dimensional with my skills. I do photography, I do visual arts, I, I write poetry, I do photojournalism and storytelling with my photography. So um, it's a bit different from the regular things that you just see out there. So it's mind of the creative because it's very vast comes in different forms, different ways. It could be real life, right in time pictures. It could be um, nature photography that uh, has to do with traveling, animals, locations, destinations, you know, just the beauty of life in general. The self-thought artist enjoys painting mostly abstract and contemporary art majors in abstract expressionism inspired by Jackson Pollock. I feel like art is another way of therapy. You know, it's mind refreshing, mind um, relieving because there's a lot going on in our society right now. So a lot of people are depressed, a lot of people are very unhappy, many reasons why. So I feel like my art can, you know, inspire you, motivate you or just, you know, set you free from a lot of stress going on in the world right now. His pictures show the beauty of nature and lifestyle. Um, I would say they are very original. They are masterpieces. They remind you of nature. They're very rich and once you look at them, it gives you a feeling of nature, originality and quality. So um, I think it will go very far because this is the first of its kind. You see some artworks, they look like what you've seen before, but these ones are absolutely different and very original. His love for deep, alternative, and conscious music which inspires his creativity. My inspiration comes naturally, comes from my environment and things that happen to me on a daily basis. So as a photographer, yeah, so as a photographer, I try my best to always be ready to capture the mood, the feel of wherever I am at the moment. I pay attention to the beauty of life. I pay attention to the details that a lot of people overlook, you know, so that's what brings out the beauty in my art specifically. So, yeah, so I just go with the flow and with my spirit, I just let it leave. This artist holds a bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Lagos and owns a fashion line, Eximel's Aprils. Let's take a moment on Art House. We'll have your works of art and some of the best contemporary designs, so do stay with us. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. We begin with Jibola Ajumon's recycled art. He calls this one Waste to Wealth. Then my story is Desmond Akindo Juice acrylic on canvas piece. Then look into my eyes is what Raji Davids is saying with this work which he has rendered with fabric and acrylic on canvas. Ade Toru Adebayo has Unforeseen, which is a digital painting. Mm -hmm. 
Then Destiny is a charcoal and color pencil on paper work done by Afrifa Anane. The Ancestral shows us my dignity and oil on canvas work. Then Assurance is what Innocent Chikeze is showing with this acrylic on canvas piece. Then Stand Tall, especially in this month of November, is what Oyebode Balogu is saying with this collage painting. Then we wrap things up with Olufemi Adedeji's digital painting titled Amope. That concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and encourage you to keep them coming. is too busy to observe little things in nature. The artist has a duty to draw attention to these details of nature, for very often the answers we seek are in the details provided by nature. Welcome back. Design Week Lagos is an exhibition which features some of the best contemporary African designs and concepts in this commercial city. The atmosphere is charged as designers from the length and breadth of Lagos gather here to display innovative and modern designs in a fiesta tagged Design Week Lagos. Lagos is a celebration of design. Um, we're showcasing um, product designers um, both in Nigeria, African product designers that live in the diaspora, doing amazing work that people don't know about, but showcasing these products to the world. quite excited with the turnout. I'm excited with how much work every exhibitor has put into put, uh, um, constructing their, their booths. It's, it's just been amazing. And it, I only see us going upwards from here. It's an event which the art community has been itching to experience. A style, aesthetic appeal and ingenuity are served with attention to details while incorporating traditional designs. Moving around, you, you see divers, interior decorations, artistic expressions, technology, and the fusion of many elements to really give people luxury, pleasure, and joy in a space like this. I love everything I've seen around. I've been to almost every stand here today, and I can tell that Lagos people are creative people. Nigerians are quite creative. I have seen things that, you know, they're just beyond imaginary. I have seen different design come to life from handcrafted materials to things that are imported to things that have to do with brains and initiative. I would say that um, it's excellently great. No, I'm super impressed. I'm super impressed. Um, especially with the young interior designers, we can actually see what they're doing. Uh, we can see the talents that we have. So for me, this is an opportunity to encourage them and support them regardless of the government and whatever it is, we need to encourage them. So this is a good platform for young interior designers and manufacturers as a whole. The festival is tailored to showcase excellence on the African continent when it comes to design and brings like minds together under one roof. The artworks are actually very impressive. They are very fascinating and they are very beautiful as well. Uh, some of these artistic expressions like in form of masks, 
in, in form of furnitures, in forms of drawings and paintings. And some of them primarily actually depict African cultures, even the symbols that were actually used and utilized by the artists uh, will showcase their work, uh, their ways of promoting African culture, which I think is very, very, very important because um, uh, through art, we can actually tell our story and share our story uh, with the people around the world. I'm happy that we're having young designers, local young designers who are stepping forward um, to try to bring their designs and their prototypes, right, forward. Um, as you, you'll have noticed, we have some international brands here also, as well as the indigenous um, and brands and manufacturers. So our, our hope for them is to find a, a platform to partner with people who can take their prototypes, you know, and, and put it out there uh, for production. Design Week Lagos exhibition curated by Jade Folawuyo is an annual showcase for viewing some of the best, high-profile and unique design objects in Africa. Amazing. And we'll be clicking away, but that will be on the next episode of the program. Here's what to look forward to. Coming up next time. It's all about pictures as renowned photographer Kelechi Amadiobi shows us amazing Nigeria, an exhibition organized by SML Contemporary in Lagos. At Alliance Francais, we see the images that made it to the 13th edition of Lagos Photo Festival. Head to Bariga, a suburb in Lagos, for a fiesta of figures tagged Portrait of Hope. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing, and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. Thank you so much for being a part of it. And I look forward to interacting with you on our various social media platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Do stay safe and keep being creative.